Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Kuva Brahma. Now, as this is a Kuva weapon, the only way to get it is by vanquishing a lage that's wielding the Kuva Brahma. Now, just in case you don't know how to do that, I recently made an updated guide on hunting Kuva liches, and I will link it in the video description so you can check it out. The Kuva Brahma is an explosive bow that fires a very heavy bolt that detonates with an explosion radius of 8.3 meters when it hits something or when you press the secondary fire button, and it also releases three smaller bomblets which will detonate once they hit something, though with a much smaller explosion radius of only 3.5 meters. If you hit something with the bolt directly, it will do pure impact damage with the follow-up explosions doing blast, and it comes with very good 35% crit chance, a slightly above average 2.1 times crit multiplier, and a solid status chance of 21%. It also charges very fast with a charge rate of 0.4 and it has a really fast reload of 0.6. And finally, I also want to mention that the damage you see on the stat screen is actually lower than what you're gonna have on your Kuva Brahma. This is because Kuva weapons get a bonus element on them based on the Warframe you spawn the Lich with. The elements that I would recommend here are either Toxin or Cold, because that's gonna bolster your viral damage, or just Heat to get some extra damage over time. And one final thing before we check out the build is that Kuva weapons gain more capacity and you extract more mastery from them as you put on more and more forma up to a maximum of 5. So if you want to squeeze the absolute maximum out of this and unlock the ability to install a lens, you're gonna have to put on 5 forma. Now as far as the build goes, it's gonna be some variation of a Hunter Munitions vital setup. I really enjoy running Cridile on the Kuva Brahma because the base fire rate or charge rate is very high, so a little bit of negative fire rate isn't that big of a deal and it provides you with much more reliable crit chance for Hunter Munitions. I also like to run Primed Firestorm here, which makes the initial explosion absolutely massive, but it also makes it far more likely that the explosions from the bomblets will overlap, because the bomblets tend to fly quite far away, so having a bigger explosion on them is always good. This is an extremely strong setup that does very high damage over an absolutely massive area, it's fantastic. And it gets even better, like considerably better, if you run the Vigilante mod set on your companion, which is gonna give you frequent orange crits through the set bonus. And if you then start mixing Galvanize mods for even more damage, and you even run an arcane, oh, mwah, absolutely fantastic. This is one of the most fun weapons in the game, but it comes with a massive drawback. It comes with six shots by default, and it has an ammo pickup of one. So it is absolutely 100% necessary to run some form of ammo mutation on it, whether that be through mods or by running carrier. I actually go as far as to run ammo drum on the weapon for more ammo maximum, this pushes it up to 11 shots, and then run carrier on top of it for the mutation. This nullifies the occasional streak of bad luck where you just get no ammo whatsoever. Though this isn't entirely necessary most of the time because it only happens in certain mission types like capture or sabotage. So yeah, even though it got a bit of a nerf arena, I would still recommend the Kuva Brahma. It's just too damn fun. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.